Everybody going on and on and on about the bank apocalypse that's going on right now. Now, is there something going on with banks? Oh, hell yeah, there's something going on with banks. Is it the bank apocalypse? Eh, I don't think so. Is this mass media giving alternative media something to spin up about so that people can make content and, I don't know, grift away? Yeah, probably so. It's insane. It is. Just look out there and see the reports that are going out. And if you can't tell, I've caught on. And I am completely not on board anymore. Um, I don't care if CNN has live video of a UFO sucking Biden's brains out. Please. Um, <coughs> probably that's more of a too late. But I um, <coughs> I wouldn't believe anything at this point that comes from any news source as far as anything from a mainstream news source. And we should have known for quite a while not to pay attention to that. But any of the, I would say, any of the alternative news or whatever you want to call it because they're ones that cover it the most aren't even news. Um, they're going to have you whipped up all, but, you know, I, I'm telling you, everybody, everybody today, oh, the world's coming to an end. I'm looking at full... Uh, Full spectrum survivals uh, that he, that that it's right in front of my face. There, uh, there is no turning back. Every day we're gonna die, according to that dude. Every single day, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not on board anymore. Not on board. I mean, I'm gonna do news, but I'm not gonna sit there and let them lead me around by the nose. I, um, unfortunately, as a result of that, <laughs> I have got all of three tabs open to speak to you about, and, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to tell you all the banking news from the headlines when I read the headlines later, but during these three tabs, <laughs> we won't be discussing the banking crap. Because that's exactly what they want us to be discussing. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not on board. Not on board. I don't know what else to do. My intent. My concern. Is not only the boy who cried wolf problem. But. The amount of embellishing and making up and all this other crap that these channels are doing to, to bring you the, you know, the more, because it's about the more devastating. I was just watching Tim Pool just now. <clears throat> Let me tell you just how fucked up, pardon the language, people's mindsets are at this point in time. Now, we're talking Tim Pool. We're not talking... Steve Bannon, we're not talking, you know what I mean, we're not talking Mr. Ultra Conservative, nothing like, we're talking Tim Pool. And he had asked in a poll to the, uh, you know, to the audience, how many people would support a mandatory two-month, uh, kind of like a basic training for people. When, you know, when they turn 18 years old, I guess I'm assuming... Something like, say, they get out of high school, they get out of high school, they go uh, spend uh, mandatory two weeks with essentially basic training. So, not necessarily like on a military level, but, you know, some PT, this, that, and the other thing. 
70-something percent of the people said yeah. Do you know how bad that is? That's bad. That's bad. And I've long said that they will have the people begging for communism and socialism. And that's exactly, that is exactly where they've got Red Team. Begging them for communism and socialism. And it's Red Team, folks. It's Red Team that's begging for it the most. Blue Team says that that's what they want. But, you know, I, I, I they don't even know what gender they are. You think they're really going to be able to institute anything? No. That's why they know that they need to sell it to Red Team. So how do you sell it to Red Team, the idea of communism? Well, you just tell them that everybody else is trying to take everything they have. And that somehow they're going to be able to take everything that they have by making a decent wage. Or by having proper health care. Or maybe not having to go into a lifetime of debt because they go to college. You know, all of these things, the only difference between the capitalism and the communism is who it is that's in control of the, the organizations, whatever you want to call it. I'm talking about the school, you know, education, the schools, all that stuff. The only difference is, right now, is capitalism is it's owned by private individuals, and in socialism it would be owned by the government. But the exact same act is happening right now, and I'm not talking about the bank bailout with what, some people want to call a loan debt forgiveness, which it's not. It was a bank bailout. Um, debt forgiveness means the debt is forgiven. Okay? That means whoever it is, in you know, the end user, whoever it is that, that loaned the money, debt forgiveness is when they no longer require payment for that debt. That is debt forgiveness. When the government uses tax dollars to pay off the notes, that's a bailout. Big difference. But see, they sold that to a lot of people too, didn't they? That's why I beg people to pull away from this red team, blue team crap. Because it makes people stupid. Completely, utterly stupid. They will demand the worst for their fellow men and, you know, fellow countrymen and women. As long as they think that there's a chance that anything that those other people could do might take from them. That's all they got to do. All they got to do. Red team, the, the cheerleaders of red team, you know, the, the Congress... That's all they got to do. It's worked for decades. Right? Oh, they're going to take your jobs. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. So all they did was switch the motive behind using that excuse. Now all of a sudden it is, you know, you got Red Team out there saying, well, we support people going out and working hard for their money, and that's how I did it, and I paid for my way through school, and I bought my house, and I paid it off, and I bought three cars and my boat. In a much different nation than what we sit today. Much different nation. Completely. Across the spectrum from where we sit today. But these people are telling the youngsters, that's how you got to do it. You pull yourself up. There ain't no fucking bootstraps. And Red Team won't listen. Because they don't give a flying fuck about anybody but keeping what they have. They don't give a damn if the whole fucking country burns. 
long as they get to keep that fucking boat, that fucking truck, they don't care. Now, I'm not... You don't have to pick one. That's the other thing. You don't have to pick one. I'm not picking blue team. I don't pick any of them. They're cults, man. They, they absolutely destroy every bit of common sense you could ever have. That is how bad the political parties are. There is no way anybody that sits back and looks at this from the outside looking in without getting all up in the emotions of one side or the other, there's no way somebody in their right mind wouldn't look at this and say, that is the stupidest shit. Red team bragging about how great the country was. Don't realize that at least some of their friends were selling this nation out. That's how they've got where they are. And then, they want to hold that up as a victory flag to folks today that can't even pay their fucking rent working three part-time jobs. I don't know what got me on this rant. I really don't. I really don't. I guess it's the fact that... (coughs) Pardon me, that I said in that video the other day. I'm tired. I'm tired of being held down on the same part of the fucking learning curve... Because people that either don't want to think or don't want to get off their ass don't want to move forward. And it's incredibly big amount of bullshit to ask us and keep asking us to keep reliving this. And in this particular instance, every four years. Oh, we got to rip this guy and everything go get better. Pinball today, ragging all over Biden. How Trump was so great. What about the red flag laws, Pinball? I tell you what, that's somebody that heavily supports communism. Government control over every little aspect of somebody's life that is communism slash socialism okay when you want to dictate what it is that other people can eat when you want to dictate how much it is other people can make (laughs) when you expect people to be saddled down into servitude indentured servitude essentially for the education that they receive to do the job that they do while trying to juggle everything else to have a car, a home, money to take care of kids. People like Pinball don't think others should be able to do that. Not unless you're doing their exact, I mean, they have an exact path for you. They all do. They've all got their own individual exact little path that you have to follow. And if you don't follow like that, well, you fucked it up. You fucked it up. What do you mean? Now you can't buy a house. Now you can't do that. You fucked it up. It's insane. It's absolutely insane.
And we can't move forward in this country until we can get past this part of the learning curve. And I know of us being stuck in this fucker since the 80s. I kind of want to move forward. Pinball, is that okay? We move forward? Or should we just bitch and cry about the other side and beg other people to do it all for us? Because, I don't know. Uh, no, they can't. Um, well, and by the way, I'm asking you if, if, if you're serious with that about enjoying to pay 12 bucks for a uh, Big Bang. Um, and I, I, you know, I've got thoughts about that that a lot of people don't like. Um, no, I don't think they can afford a house making $15 an hour at all. Um, I don't think at all. And in fact, I, I think that a lot of that needs to be changed. Um, you know, a lot of times when you bring up that discussion, say, okay, let's talk about a fast food worker making um, making $15 an hour. A lot of people will say, well, that's almost as much as this person or that's more money than this person makes or... We need to stop letting them lead us. This is part of being led around by the nose. We have to stop letting us lead, or, you know, us letting them lead us into those arguments. It's not a what if or if. No. Everybody should be doing better than they are. This isn't just about, okay, we're going to boost up the entry-level jobs and everybody else has got to stay where they're at. No, everybody's getting screwed. Everybody. If, um, let's say I was gonna, let's say I was gonna buy a motorcycle. And I hate using this because I, I hate the company I have to mention with a pie. I'm not a fan. I know a lot of people, especially Americans are. I am not. Again, it's not about the emotion of it. It's not about the sound of it. It's not about how it makes my balls feel when it runs. It's about the fucking thing being broken down more than it's being driven. That's what it's about. And I'm talking motorcycles. So let me ask you this. What would be more expensive? A Yamaha 1,000cc motorcycle, I don't know, whatever flavor, you know, or a Harley-Davidson 1,000cc motorcycle, both the same size, which one would cost me more? And why? The Harley-Davidson would cost more. The reason... Why it would cost more is because them employees are not making $15 an hour. One of the biggest pieces of shit on the road with one of the highest price tags. So for me, the $15 an hour, the $12 Big Mac, that argument don't work. Because to be real honest, you should have to pay $12 for a Big Mac meal. Maybe, maybe we could do something about the obesity problem in the nation. Maybe. We as a society in this country have become so accustomed to things being done for us. 
we got so accustomed to it that now there's many people that, that expect people to do things that's not even within their capability of doing. And there's not a whole lot of assholes like me that would just sit there and tell the truth because too many people are trying to, one way or another, benefit from their experiences with other people. Look, I'm trying to bring you something. I don't, I'm, I'm not asking for anything. I'm, I'm trying to bring you something. I'm not trying to bring you here so that I get enough video views, whatever, all that for a bunch of money on YouTube, which by the way, we are, I, we are on the way to making bank. We are definitely on the way to making bank here at the Watchman News. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We are definitely making bank up in here. Remember, it wasn't but what, three weeks, four weeks ago, I said we had half a cent. We are up to the full cent now. We are up to the full cent. And if I keep at it really hard and I push and I shove, maybe within 10 years, I can be 50 cent. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If I get real lucky... I might make it to 350, but I don't really see that happening. So 350 is way up there. 350 is like at the top of the tree of 350. So I, I don't think I'll make it there. But uh, <laughs> right now we're one cent. <laughs> anyway. But that's the truth. I started this in 2014, got more serious with it in 2016. That's when more of the daily stuff started. And I didn't do it. I, I tell you guys the truth all the time. I, I'm, I'm not here. And, and let me clarify when I say this, because it probably sounds worse than I intended to. I don't intend to... For it to sound bad, I'm just honest. I don't do this to make friends. I don't do this to make money. I don't do this to gain popularity. I hate fucking public speaking. I hate the public. I'm not a fan of people, okay? Um, I'm just not a social person. That's what it is. I'm, I'm an oddball. I'm an odd duck. Um, I'm not a social person. And I'm the wrong person to put in a social situation because, <laughs> number one, I don't give a fuck, number one. And that's probably the worst thing because <laughs> I don't care what people think of me. Um, why would I worry about what other, other people think of me? That's like the argument that people make, oh, well, you're jealous. I'm jealous? Okay. Of what? Exactly, am I jealous? I don't get jealous over material things. And that may be odd, I don't know. I just don't get jealous over material things. There's actually not very many things that I really, really want. I'm an odd duck. I'm not impressed with money. I'm not impressed with pieces of paper that folks hang on the wall. I'm not, you know, I'm just not impressed with that kind of stuff. If you want to impress me, show me how good of a human being you are. Show me how good of a person you are. And I don't mean hold up your charity work to me. No, because I probably won't have really good thoughts about that if you do. No. Just be you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, it, it doesn't matter. Just be you. Um, but I, I, you know, like I said, I didn't, when I started doing this, it wasn't to build a network of people. It wasn't, that wasn't it. It was God up my ass telling me you either do this or else. That's why I'm here. 
I don't like public speaking. I don't like the public. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I don't do anything. I don't go to town functions. I don't go to the... They have the county fair here in our town. I don't go to that. I don't do any of it. Why? And, and I never really did. Why? I'm not interested in that crap. Last thing I want to do is go have my nose up everybody's ass and have their nose up mine. Not interested. I guess here anyway, that makes me a weirdo. Right? Here, I'm a big, big weirdo here. Because I don't want to have my nose up everybody's ass. I don't know. Never made sense to me. Never will make sense to me. And so, since you don't let people up your uh, up your ass, they just make shit up. That's the funny part. Anyway, I don't know where the hell I got on all these rants, but I don't know. Maybe it was a long time coming, but we have to do something. There's no easy answers. I mean, that, that's the long and the short of it. There is no easy answer. There is no one blanket thing can fix it all. Because we're far beyond that. We're far beyond that. It is actually going to take a reset of sorts. Not the one that they're planning. But it will, it will actually need a reset. If we ever want to be able to move forward in our standard of living, it's the only way. The amount of credit card debt right now is soaring, highest it's the uh, ever been. And those chickens are going to come home to roost. And right now, we are at the very beginning of a, a downward trend when it comes to jobs. And that's going to continue to snowball on down. I got a little bit concerned when I started seeing the tech industry crumble. But I'm also starting to see entertainment take a huge hit. And they had already had a hell of a haircut for many different reasons but now it's even hitting another level now there are a whole lot of people that are getting rid of their streaming accounts not because of some type of political cancel culture nonsense but because they can't afford it anymore Believe it or not, that's a pretty big indicator of where we are, how bad things are as far as on the street, the average everyday American household. And those are the folks that we need to be paying attention to. Because it's when those folks can't keep the lights on, can't feed their kids, can't afford the car that they have to take to work to be able to try to afford the house and the food for the kids. Those chickens are going to come home to roost. And that's not going to be good. Now everybody else wants to talk about how the banks are failing. I think we'd be better served to talk about how we're failing. Because no matter what happens to the banks, the banks aren't going to be there to, to bail us out. The banks aren't going to be the ones to f make sure we're fed to defend our families. Why the hell are we worried so much about them? Get ready. We've got a hell of a storm coming. 
But don't let yourself get worked up over every damn news cycle that comes out. Because these news cycles have been coming out like this for a long damn time. I know, I've been covering them. Mainstream has been leading us all, including me, around by the nose so well. And that's why I'm saying I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'll be here. I'm going to do the news, but I'm not going to let them lead me around by the nose anymore. They're trying to confuse us. They're trying to get us all off balance, off keel. Let the content creators do that to their viewers. I'm not going to do it to you. They can say anything they want to justify their fear-mongering and, and fear porn. They're doing their viewers a disservice. Unreal. Don't do that. Don't. I see it. Some of the craziest stuff sometimes. I, I'm an observer. I am... Um, you know, I keep saying it. I'm not a public person. I've always been the guy that kept quiet back in the corner and I just observed. And I have seen the, the level of dependency that some individuals have gotten with some of these content creators. And, and I'm, this ain't all a negative, you know, some of them are good content creators. But I see a dependency that people build upon. And that's why I weren't against the whole motivational speaking thing. Don't go there. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and don't go there. Because isn't that kind of an oxymoron? They want to make money, right? So they're going to keep you coming back to them. Okay, so... How are you building up your own motivation if you're codependent on somebody you pay money to keep your head in the game? Um, I don't know. Never could figure that one out. Anyway. Sorry, I'm not even, like, looking over much at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not that I'm intentionally ignoring you or anything. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just letting it roll out. I don't know. Sometimes I am just a vessel, I believe. 